Next up, Paul Tudor Jones hints at some fractals and possible Bitcoin rally. I didn't, I didn't really think I was going to cover this one because I think it's kind of just goofy. I mean, fractals are great. Uh, it's one of the things that I actually uh, based my uh, exit strategies for, for uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. Also, somebody asked me, they go, hey, Rob, uh, it sounds like... Uh, you know, your your exit strategy should come into play because, you know, Bitcoin's at, uh, it was 19.8 or whatever else it was. So did you sell 20%? First of all, it's at 19.9. And I'm not selling 20% off the bat. I'm selling 10%. And here's my exit strategy for Bitcoin. You can find uh, my Bitcoin, XRP, and Ethereum exit strategies in all the descriptions of all my videos. So, but yeah, uh, it's uh, getting ready to be sold. So we'll see. I'll have a small amount of profit and I'll be very happy. But Right now, didn't hit that number, uh, but very, very close. Probably next week. So anyhow, here's the fractal. And what he's talking about, he's saying, well, just because how gold, uh, you're looking at between 75 and 77, gold went exponentially higher uh, moving on from 1977 and forward. And we can kind of take a look at the same thing, 2018 to 2020. There was a big, bit of a lull here, 73 to 75, then a little sideways, a little dip, just like here, sideways and dip. Then it went up, and now here we are, just like gold. And you see where gold went. So saying, well, if gold went this way, and because Bitcoin is essentially uh, gold 2.0, it's a pretty good store of value. Also, it's a lot easier to transport than gold. Have it much more divisible and much more easier than gold. You don't have to melt it down. And of course, it's great because you can send it to anyone, anywhere in the world, at any time, in less than 30 minutes for next to nothing. You can send, I, there was a tweet that someone said, I just sent $10 million across the world for uh, less than a cup of coffee at uh, Starbucks. <laughs> Try doing that with gold. And then, of course, the big thing with uh, Bitcoin versus gold is that uh, gold is scarce, but we still keep finding it. So I don't know if it's really that scarce. And then uh, gold or Bitcoin isn't scarce. It's not. It's not scarce. It's finite. It's set. There is never going to be any more than 21 million. So I think when people say scarce, and even I sometimes say scarce, uh, it's not scarce. Uh, it's limited. It's finite. It's uh, it's just one number, and that's all there will ever be uh, for all time. So that's pretty much the whole article. The, let's see, was there anything else? Not really. Well, there was one pretty cool thing. This uh, Suzu, the CEO of Three Arrows Capital, uh, pretty big, large um, hedge fund in the cryptocurrency space talks about uh, the fractals, but this was the, the good part. It states, states, there's also a massive gap between the valuation of Bitcoin and gold. Currently, gold's market cap is $9 trillion, uh, which is not true. Uh, so actually, here's my favorite uh, uh, visual, money and markets. This was from six months ago, May 27th. And they're stating that uh, gold is about $11 trillion. So that's a ton. And right now, our entire market cap for, for Bitcoin, what are we looking at? Now, let me change it over to the dollars. If I, it's almost 600 billion. So 600 billion, that's not bad, but that's not 11 trillion good. So if Bitcoin and cryptocurrency can kind of sneak in there and get, uh, I don't know, half of that, that's 5 trillion. Uh, you're looking at a 250,000 plus uh, Bitcoin. And um, there's really no stopping it. So again, when I talk about uh, valuations and uh, upside potential, if you look at what's going on between Bitcoin and gold, I mean, you can invest. In, I have gold. I have gold and silver. Um, but the upside potential of Bitcoin and crypto assets are just astronomically higher. So I don't know. I mean, you, it's almost irresponsible for you not to invest into it. Now, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments section. But there is one piece, then I'll leave off with this. I actually saw this tweet last night that uh, Powell had said that, you know, he had, you know, gotten rid of his gold. And I said, hey, that's pretty good. Got rid of your useless gold. While you're at it, why not throw away your Blockbuster card and your MySpace account? And it was just in fun. It was just a joke. But uh, somebody came in, Oscar, and he had a good question. He says, hey, what would you do if you had over 100000 in gold? Would you sell it all and get it in Bitcoin or sell a percentage? I said, to be honest, you, I'm going to keep my positions in gold because you never know. You never know what's going to happen. I'm not going to sell 100%. That's just not how I operate. Some people can, and that's fine. I'm just more of a cautious person. So I said, you know, a 90-10 split's pretty good. 80-20 isn't bad. You could do that. 80% uh, Bitcoin, 20 gold, or 90-10, whatever you want to do. But again, remember, Bitcoin's been around for thousands of years, and it's not going to get phased out tomorrow. So that's just how it is. So play your cards right, uh, and that's how I'm going to play mine. You can do whatever you want to, right? And then there's this last part here where Oscar said, thanks. I wish I would have listened to you instead of some other guy. I got all that gold instead of Bitcoin back in June. So he bought a bunch of gold back in June. 
So my portfolio would have been much better if I listened to you. And I don't think Google has gone up that much. And uh, it's just one of those things where it's just, you know, who are you going to listen to? Who do you trust? Who do you think has the best answers? And and when you do your own research, you know, where all that information that you compile, you know, how do you disseminate that and actually get it into a, uh, a working functional thought as far as an investment strategy? I, I can't answer that for you. It's all up to you. So that's it for that. 